All right. In this uh, edition of Trump Derangement Syndrome, I think I don't know if people have seen it, but I'm going to leave a link in the bottom of the description in the description of this video where a, a vape store employee <laughs> uh, got upset because a guy came in with a uh, with a Trump um, a shirt and hat on that he supported Trump. And this guy lost his he lost his freaking marbles. I, now, to be fair, I think a lot of these people that lose their marbles, they are their marbles are already lost. They just were probably spilled out of the jar and they just were rolling around in the general area. So to get this triggered on a person having a different political ideology to you, to me, first of all, shows the, the, the thoughts and motivations of a lot of people on the left. They don't they want to unperson these people. They don't want them to, if they could make it where these people could not buy food, they would do it. And uh, they, if they can make it where the person could not buy food, look what they did with Milo, which I cannot stand and disagree with. Look what they did. They're happy that he's in debt. Now, I think a lot of that was part of his low IQ spending, but um, they, they were happy. They're happy that this person is actually broke. They want everyone and they don't give a damn about the people that have a different political ideology. They want to unperson these people. They want these people to completely be away from them in society, if not dead. And they would have no problem with this. Now, what I, I say is that we talk about well, I talk about the fact that the mainstream media has propagated this crap. And turn people against each other to this degree, purely seeking money in the fame of not Trump, attributing things to him that he is not, and in an attempt to make more money. And you have warped people like this. Now, is it is if if someone does something physically to someone, do they have? Uh, are they? Is it on whoever? It is uh, the media and things like that. Absolutely not. But all I'm saying here is that to, you're putting these thoughts in these people's heads that Trump is the root of all evil. And if we can just get rid of him. I said something like that on Twitter the other day. I was like, you know, if uh, somebody says something about if Trump gets impeached and I said one of the main things that people are going to say or people on the left are going to or one of the things they're going to do when if Trump ever gets impeached, leaves office, they're going to wander the wilderness wondering where, why have the the unicorns and the and the uh, rainbows not sprung forth. The 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 uh the rabbits with the large big eyes with the big with the big uh eyelashes on them just cute as can be. They're going to wonder where all this stuff is. Because y'all have built this man up to be something that he's not even close to. He got he I, I criticize him on things, but the root of all evil. But this is where we are. Now the only critique that I have with the guy with the uh, guy that did the, the uh, that videotape that that encounter in the vape store is he should have stayed a little more calm even after that, guys. You make people look really really stupid. When you stay completely calm and they're triggered. He he cursed a little bit, this and that, raised his voice. You didn't even have to do that. This dude already lost. He assaulted you. He already lost. That's it. So anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, link that in the comment section. You guys got to check that out. Comment, like, share, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. All right.